Hello, my name's Andrew Brooks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this episode, we're going to be considering what could possibly be in the London Town Archive Collection. Hello and Thank you once again for joining me on my YouTube channel and due to uh, a lot of people emailing me saying why did you do a press to play archive box set um, speculation why didn't you do a London Town well press to play is one of my favorite ones but so is London Town so here it is here's what you asked for here's my thoughts on what could possibly be in the London Town uh, archive collection box so um, a little bit of history about it. Uh, the album was released on the 31st of March 1978. So, you know, it's probably due. It's re reissue now. And I suspect, I suspect that MPL McCartney, whoever, is going to decide to do a, um, a double box set, much like they did with um, Wildlife and Red Rose Speedway. I think they're going to do a similar thing with London Town and Back to the Egg. Um, unfortunately, I think that's going to make it really expensive and they're probably going to throw in a bonus um, yeah, Glasgow concert um, CD to go with it. Um, is it going to warrant all that money? Who knows what's going to be included? So we'll, we'll just have to see. However, my speculation is um, obviously we're going to get the album. It won't be the first time it's been remastered as far as I can remember because um, we've certainly got this edition um, as opposed to the uh, the regular CD which came out a lot earlier. And uh, this is part of the old um, McCartney collection. And um, I'll hold up the disc so you can see it there. And it came out, it was remastered, digitally remastered, and it had um, three extra tracks. Sorry, correction, two extra tax tracks. It had uh, Molly Kintyre and Girls School, which it fits in with the time period because uh, they were recorded slap bang in the middle of the recording sessions for London Town. So... Uh, yeah, that kind of ties in with that, and we'll discuss uh, Mull of Kintyre in a little bit later. So, what could we get audio-wise? Audio-wise, there's a few unreleased songs. We've got um, Boyle Crisis, um, which has certainly... All of these have been out, um, apart from one, I believe. Um, all of these have been out on bootleg. So we've got Boyle Crisis, which uh, appeared on the bootleg of uh, Cold Cuts Hold Hits. Uh, Cold Cuts Hot Hits, sorry. Um, we've got Water Spout, which also appeared on the same uh, same album. And then we've got another one called After You've Gone. Um, not sure I've heard that. I'll have to do a bit of digging, but uh, if I if I if I've heard it, I've got it here somewhere. And um, then we come on to an instrumental called uh, El Toro Passing. Um, I can honestly say I haven't heard that one. It's, it was that was uh, reported in Keith Badman's. Um, book um after the after the Beatles so uh, I did a little bit of research and that's where I found that but I can honestly say I've never heard it and then there was also a Denny Lane track which they recorded called Find A Way uh, so they're the as far as I can tell they're the unreleased tracks from all these recording sessions now a lot of these were recorded um out in the Virgin Isles on uh, a couple of uh, luxury yachts that were uh, hired and they transformed them into uh, floating recording studios effectively um, it was also recorded at Abbey Road and um, Air Studios so they were the three studios that were used for the recording of the album now there are uh, quite a few bootlegs out there um, this is one I've got uh, this is my copy it's called um, London Town Roughs and Demos and it effectively has got the uh, the album as we know it um, but these these versions are different to the release ones. Some of them are extended. Um, things like um, you know more smooth and, and the Grey Goose. It goes on for hours. It appears you know a ten minute version of it. So uh, we've got all of these unreleased versions of these songs. Um, Cafe on the Left Bank. I'm carrying. Ah, oh, there we are. Find a way. That's the Danny Lane track that, um, that I just mentioned. That's on this um, CD. Um, we've got Deliver Your Children, which another Danny Lane track. Again, these are all alternate versions of um, of, of the uh, of the album of the track. So uh, I'll just hold it up there so you can see the track listing. So uh, yeah, find a way. Uh, then you've got deliver your children. I've had enough with a little luck. Famous groupies, more smooth. Um, don't let it bring you down. Backwards traveler. After you've gone, which um, was the uh, 
one of the other unreleased tracks so i said i wasn't sure if i've heard it well clearly i have because it's on here and the other one is boil crisis so um out of all of them the only one i haven't heard is um el toro passing so uh, i might be out there on uh, on the interweb somewhere on youtube land um i'll have to dig, try and dig that one out so uh, that's not bad going if for all them unreleased tracks to only have one that i hadn't heard um whilst doing a little bit of research um for the album uh, for this video about the album I've come across quite a lot of um, TV footage which uh, I hadn't even considered uh, I'd seen it before but I hadn't even considered until doing doing the research so uh, we've got obviously the promo video clips for London Town um, which you know it, it's an all right video it's uh, it's a bit basic it's probably playing you know down here somewhere at the moment uh, so you can just see what it looks like. It's it's a figurative video, so they are walking down a sidewalk on a sunny afternoon, a sidewalk on a sunny afternoon, and they meet a Rosa and someone who collect, you know, toots his horn, toot toot, and has a balloon about his foot and all that. So it's very literal the video for that one. Um, we've also got a video for I've had enough. Now, I've had enough is a great video because it's already introducing the new members of wings even though they don't appear on this um album uh, in fact the old members of wings appear on this album it's got jimmy mcculloch and uh, joe english i believe with drummers uh, drummer and the guitarist who appear on some of these tracks and then in the video for i've had enough it's got lawrence juba and um steve holly who have who didn't appear on the album but are now in the new incarnation of wings so they're on this um this video here for um i've had enough probably already playing down here or something and uh, yeah so you can see them in this uh, rocker of a uh, of a video uh, and then you've got the uh, the cheesy video which uh, it's been around for a while um, with a little luck I believe it was um, you know cleaned up and put on the DVD with all the other McCartney uh, promo film clips um, with a little luck it's just a performance video really it's uh, you know Paul Linda and, and Denny performing in a uh, what appears to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, Sunday afternoon dance or something. But uh, it's quite nice. It's got the kids running around in it. So, uh, you know, it's, it is just a performance video. Um, also included on here, I should imagine, will be the four different versions of Mull of Kintyre. Three or four different versions of Mull of Kintyre. You've got the one up in Scotland. You've got the one on the Mike Yarwood TV show. Um, and then there's... Uh, a third one um, for just a different TV show from what I can gather um, so yeah so the one up in Scotland probably playing here at the moment it's it's just showing uh, up at Scotland and Denny and Paul playing guitar and then the bagpipes come in and they're all around a big log fire um, the Mike Yarwood one uh, Paul actually appeared on his show uh, in the late late 77 i think it was it aired on like christmas day in 77 um paul done a little comedy sketch with mike yarwood who was a british impersonator comedian um mike yarwood does an impersonation of the of the then chancellor of the exchequer dennis healy um for all our foreign viewers um he was a british politician massive eyebrows and mike yarwood specialized in doing a uh, impersonation of him impersonation of him um, and then they performed um, Mull of Kintyre in the studio, bagpipes come in and it's quite misty. Um, and uh, As far as I can imagine, they're the only promo film clips that we're going to get. Um, there is lots and lots of TV shows though. Um, we've got um, the South Bank show, which um, Melvin Bragg uh, hosted. Uh, and it was shown or recorded during the sessions, right at the start of the sessions for this, uh, when they re started recording Mull of Kintyre. So the, uh, he's, he's there being interviewed while they're recording it. Uh, so that's that's quite interesting. Um, and then we've got um, the press launch. The press launch was phenomenal for this, um, for this album. London Town, it was shot on... Um, the river thames on some boats they're eating fish and chips out of wrappers as they're going underneath tower bridge and they're just followed by a huge junket of um journalists who are just you know going nuts and photographing them and uh, and they're interacting really well with them paul linda and denny 
so uh, that's and there's quite a lot of footage of that on YouTube if you care to to track it down um, other things I've managed to to have a look at in here we've got um, home movies on the um, boats out in the Virgin Isles and there's about two or three minutes worth of home movies available on the uh, on YouTube so I'm guessing there must be a lot more um, yeah. If, if whoever's filming it, Linda or Paul or whoever's filming these um, these home movies have shot just two or three minutes of it, there's got to be heaps more. But it's great to see the band. It's got Jimmy and Joe in it um, playing with the band on the decks of boats. You know, it's a lovely sunny paradise they're playing in, um, which is a bit ironic considering the, the album title was London Town and London's often considered you know, drab and dreary. Uh, not my not my view because I, I live here. It's great, but um, yeah, that's the uh, that's one of the views of uh, London. Um, what else have we got then? We're moving on to the Mike Garwood show. So as I described, it's he's a British comedian. It was aired on Christmas Day over here. Paul um, does a little comedy sketch and also performs Mull of Kintyre. And then I also tracked down uh, an Australian TV interview on a show called Countdown, and they are actually in. The, like the next room to the studio and you can hear Paul playing some some of the, the sort of keyboard lines to some of the songs so I'm guessing we're probably going to get all of these news clips if we don't we should whoever's whoever's in charge of these archive sets if you can get all of these clips and more because there must be tons more out there um, these are just the ones that I've managed to source myself so yeah we, we've We've probably got enough there for um, certainly a DVD Blu-ray's worth of um, video footage. And it would be nice to see the promo film clips, you know, cleaned up nicely. I think they were cleaned up for the McCartney um, D uh, DVD set that came out a few years ago. Um, but it would be super nice to have them, yeah, in in really super quality. Um, clean up the unreleased tracks, put them out. Um, it's probably going to be some more doodlings and, and noodles and stuff like that that haven't come out yet um i'm sure in the vaults at mpl there must be other other unreleased goodies that haven't even seen the light of day yet um that's my thoughts on it i love to hear your thoughts on it so if you know of anything that i've missed stick them in the comments below um hopefully there's been a subscription button down here somewhere throughout the entire uh, video don't forget to to subscribe it, it really helps me uh, get the figures up and uh, if you like it give us a thumbs up please leave comments and spread the word you know, I'm, I'm all over Facebook don't be afraid to give to ask me a question or, or just leave a comment yeah you know, anything is, is great just to know that people are, are interested in these videos but uh, that's it from me um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time